I'm Johnny, and welcome to All The Small Things. In this series, we'll be taking a look at some of the few basic items that you might find at home. Things that you see and use very often, but haven't really given much thought about. Lightning strikes sand to create glass. Humanity has long since been able to make full use of this. By melting sand, we can create glass. Just imagine not being able to see clearly as you get older. Or worse still, not being able to watch this show. What will our life be without glass? Mirrors are used in a variety of things, such as televisions, CDs, DVDs, and even barcode scanners. This also shows that mirrors can be used to split light beams. The most obvious use are found in telescopes. Our first mirrors were made out of ground and polished obsidian, which is volcanic glass. Invented around 6000 BC in Anatolia, now modern Turkey. Our first modern glass mirrors, like the one over here, were invented in 1835 by German chemist Justus von Liebig. What you might not know about mirrors is that besides letting us see how beautiful we are, it can also reflect sound. That's right, it was used in World War II by the British to detect sound waves from the enemy. Interesting? Well, here's another one for you. While we may look at ourselves in the mirror all day long, but if you were to stare at the mirror at least 3 meters away in a relatively dark room for at least 10 minutes, you most likely hallucinate. But, well, don't try right now. Do it after this video because um, it can get a little bit weird. Between 4 BC and 65 AD, a Roman statesman by the name of Seneca created a glass globe filled with water to either magnify things or to see things from afar. The first modern spectacles were invented in 1285 AD by a craftsman in Pisa, Italy. What about bifocal lenses for those who suffer from both near and far-sightedness? Well, Benjamin Franklin, who suffered from both, invented the bifocal lenses for himself in 1784. Now, that may have come from the West, but did you know that the first sunglasses came from China? Created in the 12th century, it was initially made with tinted lenses. Now, modern spectacles can cut out UV light without being tinted, essentially making the glasses sunglasses. Glasses and spectacles are called lenses and are used in many modern day items to help us magnify things. But what happens when we want to preserve a certain image? That's where the SLR camera comes in. There was a device called the Camera Obscura used by the ancient Greeks and Chinese to project surrounding images onto a screen. The term Camera Obscura in Latin means dark chamber. Well, removing the word Obscura, we get the name Camera. The first camera was developed by Kodak by a man called George Eastman. It went on sale in 1888. Now, you would have thought that cameras were invented way before then, but actually, it's considered a rather modern invention. It wasn't until December 1975 that Kodak developed the first digital camera designed by Steve Sasson. Only able to take black and white images at 0.01 megapixels, we are indeed very grateful that it has come a long way, so much so that we have DSLR cameras that can take up to 50 megapixels! No pores can escape. Due to the digital age, we take as many photos in two minutes as we did as a humanity in the 1800s. Also, in a survey, 76% of people from Britain were seen to be drunk in photos that they were tagged in on Facebook. And funny cat photos were possibly started by Harry Pointer in the 1870s, and he made a successful career out of that. Mirrors, spectacles, and cameras. These ideas were the start of something big. So you have to wonder, what are the next big ideas changing our future? I'm Johnny, and thank you for watching All The Small Things. Tune in to The Big Idea on Channel News Asia this June.